that Lincoln's too much of a pragmatist to think that you can actually put together the resources necessary to deport four million people. He doesn't think this could ever practically happen. But he knows that there's a lot of Northerners who are going to be opposed to his Emancipation Proclamation that by August he's already decided he's going to issue. And he knows that if he starts talking publicly about colonization, like he does in this meeting with black leaders in August of 1862, that um, many racist white Northerners will be a whole lot more likely to accept emancipation with colonization than simply emancipation. So the argument here is that Lincoln is essentially trying to so soften up Northern opinion on emancipation. Is that true? Maybe. Um, Lincoln does, after the January 1st, 1863 um, issuance of the final Emancipation Proclamation, he never mentions colonization in a public speech again, uh, or in a public statement. He does give some support um, to sort of a quiet scheme of emancipation. And there's conflicting evidence on whether or not he still maintains some support for it privately. But he gave it up in any public way after the Emancipation Proclamation, which maybe lends some support to the idea that he was just using colonization as a tool. Either way, the Emancipation Proclamation um, is a momentous shift in federal emancipation policy uh, or, or federal policy towards slavery during the war. The Emancipation Proclamation is not enough by itself to kill slavery, however. 